Hello! Today I'm going to talk to you about your upcoming Bravo placement. The Bravo procedure is done to monitor the amount of acidity in your esophagus during a typical day. You are having this procedure because you have some common symptoms such as heartburn, regurgitation, and pain in your chest. Because your doctor wants to measure your usual symptoms, we ask that you eat, drink, work, exercise, and rest as you normally would. This recorder will be your best friend for the next 48 hours. The capsule in your esophagus will be sending information to the recorder during this study, so it is important to keep the two close to each other. In fact, the recorder needs to stay within three feet of you at all times, so please use the holster provided. If the recorder is too far from you, the signal may be disconnected. If this happens, the recorder will beep for 30 seconds and the number one will appear on the screen. This lets you know that the signal has disconnected. To reconnect the signal, hold the monitor to your chest so the monitor can reconnect with the capsule again. The recorder will stop flashing and beeping once reconnected. To use the recorder, you must first wake it up by hitting any button to make the screen appear. Once the screen background appears, use the buttons at the bottom of the monitor to record symptoms you are experiencing. You will get a sheet to show you which buttons symbolize which symptom. The triangle equals chest pain, the circle equals regurgitation, and the square equals heartburn. You will also get a diary. Use the diary to record each and every time you start to eat or drink and each time you stop eating or drinking. No need to record how much you eat or drink. You need to use the diary to record each time you begin to lie down and each time you get up from lying down. Your record of the time and activity helps in determining the degree of your reflux and when it is occurring. Use the clock on the monitor when recording when you eat or lie down. It is vital to use only that clock and not your watch or other clock to record the information. If you remember, you may also use the buttons on the recorder to record your start-stop times for eating, drinking, and lying down. After the probe has been placed, don't eat sticky food for the next 48 hours. Sticky food may dislodge the probe before the study has ended. Also, avoid chewing gum and eating hard candy for the next 48 hours. Don't get the recorder wet, since water will damage it. You can shower or bathe if you leave the recorder outside the tub or shower and within three feet of you. You can cover it with plastic if you want. It isn't necessary, but just don't let it get wet. One more thing. In the unlikely event you end up going to the emergency room and need an x-ray, make sure you tell them to shield the recorder during any x-ray. Avoid MRIs for the next 30 days following probe placement as well, as the probe does contain a small metal battery. The risks of the Bravo pH test include premature detachment, discomfort, failure of the capsule to attach, failure of the capsule to fall off, capsule aspiration or retention, tears in the mucosa, bleeding, and perforation of the esophagus. After 48 hours, return the recorder, your diary and the holster in the envelope provided on the designated date and time to the hospital registration desk. It is important that you return both the recorder and the diary. Thank you, and if you have any questions or concerns about your test or the monitor, please call us at these numbers.